Tehran renews support of the political solution in Syria and its rejection of any foreign intervention. The Syrian Arab army units eliminate dozens of terrorists in Aleppo and Idlib. Iran concludes its successful military drills as Russia begins new military maneuvers by the end of the month. This is Yerado Krikorian with the news in English. Iranian Deputy Foreign Minister Hussein Amir Abdullahian said that the political solution is the only way out of the crisis in Syria, rolling out allegations of his country's intervention in the affairs of the regional countries. In a press conference, Abdullahian said that the strategy of Tehran concerning the regional countries is based on mutual respect and friendship. Abdullahian considered the parties who raised these allegations as the ones who openly support the terrorist war on Syria and those who killed the innocent people there. 2012 brought about a turning point to parliamentary life in Syria as the People's Assembly was elected in the light of a new constitution and the new elections law. The new assembly has worked according to new mechanisms that enhanced national unity and supervision on government work in service of the Syrian people and in a way that meets their aspirations and interests. The democratic process in Syria has culminated in a people's assembly that was elected in light of a new constitution and a new elections law that meet the aspirations of the entire Syrian people. The assembly was elected on the 7th of May 2012. Its first session was opened on the 23rd of the same month with the election of the Assembly's Bureau, which consists of the Assembly Speaker, his deputy, two secretaries and two observers. Five permanent committees were formed for the first time, namely the Committees of Public Freedoms, Human Rights, the Woman, Family and Children's Rights, Youths, Press and Publications and National Reconciliation. The Assembly also provided headquarters for its members in the various governorates to ensure direct communication with the people across Syria. In its first and second cycles of the first legislative term, the Assembly endorsed a number of draft laws that included setting up a special court for the crimes of terrorism, the establishment of a joint center for commercial, economic, scientific, technical, financial and geopolitical cooperation between Syria and Russia, currency exchange offices and others. It also ratified the state general budget draft law for fiscal year 2013. The Assembly also discussed the government's ministerial statement. The Syrian people pin big hopes on the People's Assembly to tackle their problems and translate them into tangible laws that alleviate their suffering in the current circumstances. Idlib countryside, the Syrian Arab army unit conducted an operation in the two towns of Ta'um and Binnish, killing a number of terrorists and wounding scores others, in addition to the destruction of their military equipment. Sana correspondent quoted the source in the governorate as saying that army units killed a number of terrorists in Taftanaz and wounded dozens others. The Syrian Arab Army Unit have targeted terrorist hideouts in Al Diabiye, Al Bahdaliye, Al Husseiniye, and Hujaira in Damascus suburbs, eliminating a large number of them and destroying their weapons, cars, and mortar guns. In Yabrud, an army unit also killed and wounded a number of terrorists and destroyed their arms and ammunition. In An Nabuk, an army unit also destroyed a terrorist hideout in As Saqi farms, killing the gunmen inside and destroying their weapons. In Dara suburbs, our army units eliminated terrorists in Busra al-Harir, confiscating their weapons and their equipment. The weapons found included various kinds of machine guns, a missile, and large quantities of ammunition. Among the killed terrorists, Abdo Muhammad al-Hariri, Ali Muhammad al-Qaddah, and Talal Abdullah al-Alayyan were identified. The engineering units also dismantled explosive devices and anti-armor mines 
planted by terrorists at the entrances of the town and the roads leading to it. As part of operations carried out against the terrorists, a unit of the Syrian Arab Valiant Army destroyed a terrorist hideout in Al Khafse in Aleppo countryside, including the weapons, ammunition, and criminal tools which were inside. An official source said that during the operation, many of the most dangerous terrorists were killed, including the one called Mohammed Murai, leader of an armed terrorist group in the area. Another unit of the Syrian Arab Army eliminated a number of terrorists who were committing acts of murder, looting and sabotage in Aswea in Aleppo city. Also an army unit killed a number of terrorists in the area surrounding the Grand Mosque. Meanwhile, engineering units foiled attempts by terrorists to detonate 20 explosive devices that they planted in several neighborhoods in old Aleppo. On the occasion of the New Year, Governor of Aleppo, Mohammed Wahid Aqad, and Secretary of the Arab Ba'ath Socialist Party branch in Aleppo, Hilal Hilal, paid a visit to the wounded soldiers of the valiant Syrian Arab Army who are in the military hospital in Aleppo. An army soldier has a task of protecting his country. I told them I want to die for the sake of my country. I was insisting to fight till the end, and God protect us. But the injury was not dangerous, thank God. I am from Deir Zor. There are groups of terrorists, and we will kill them by God's help. Our country will remain with dignity. Russian Defense Ministry announced that wide-scale military drills will be conducted in the Mediterranean and the Balk Sea by the end of this month with the participation of Baltic Fleet and other Navy units. A source in the Russian Defense Ministry pointed out that the military drills will be the first to be conducted by Russian armed forces in decades, adding that the military maneuvers are intended to improve the Russian Army's combat capabilities in tactical and strategic fields. Iranian armed forces concluded their Navy drills, which lasted for six days, in which submarines and military vessels took part. A spokesman for the Russian army announced that the maneuvers achieved all its goals, especially the missile capacity to score direct hits. The maneuvers witnessed a test on Qadr missile, as well as Noor missile, which exhibited advanced efficiency and accuracy without being detected by enemy radars. In Bahrain, clashes were renewed between police and protesters who went out into the streets responding to a call by the youth coalition of 14th February Revolution demanding democratic reforms. Hundreds of opposition supporters gathered in a number of areas which led to clashes with policemen injuring several protesters. Meanwhile, the youth coalition called on the Bahraini people to participate in the Dignity Strike on the 14th of February, which coincides with the second anniversary of the start of protests in the country. With this, we end our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more information about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, syriaonline.sy. And now to latest business and market news with Khalid Zakabani after a short break.